just thinking, how many of us could be like Stephen? Somebody say, what Stephen? The Stephen that was able, in the midst of being stumbled, say, lay not this sin to, the, to that charge. If you think about it like Stephen, you can't make me doubt him.
Then the women came in and God just did what he was going to do. Like building blocks, he just kept adding on. Amen. The foundation was laid, even with the prayer, week of prayer and fasting. Amen. And then the Lord just kept building on it, building on it. Then the young people's night, amen, that young man just, amen, to the glory of God. And then we had the big festival on Saturday, amen, and there's a great witness, amen, to the saints, to the people that are in the community and everybody, amen, and to hear the word of God and many of them that came, amen, uh, that came even during the week got to hear the rich word of God, amen, encouraging us. And then we kept it off on Sunday with a glorious time in the Lord. So if you missed any of it, um, somebody can get you the YouTube link and send it to you and you can see many of the services on YouTube. But it's always good to be in the house of the Lord, amen, and to testify and to sing of his goodness, amen. Our scripture this morning will be taken from Jeremiah, it's in the Old Testament, right after Isaiah, Jeremiah, um, I keep losing my place, Jeremiah 1, verses 16 through 19 will be the first scripture and 1st Peter 1st Peter 1 8 through 11 will be the second scripture and it will be read by Elder Shaw mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus glory, glory, glory. Praise the Lord Alright let us go to the scriptures this morning with God and uh, We are going to read together. Jeremiah. Amen. We are going to read together. We got first of Jeremiah 1, started from verse 16 to 19. Amen. Everybody ready? Everybody got it? Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to unite our voice as one. Amen. And read the word of God. Amen. We pray and give us the understanding as we read the Bible. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. For those of us that can stand, amen, we ask that you do so. Amen. For those that cannot, amen, we pray stay seated. All right. Let us begin at verse 16, Jeremiah 1. And I will utter my judgment against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me and have burned innocence unto other gods, and worship the works of their own hands. Thou therefore gird up the Lord of thy grace, and speak unto them all that I commanded thee. Be not dismayed at their face, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, and an iron pillar, and birth was against the whole land, against the kings of children, against the prince thereof, against the prince thereof, and against people of the land. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver thee. Praise the Lord. We go to First Peter. Praise God. We're going to read thus the same. Amen. Beginning from verse 8. Amen, down to verse 16. Amen. Are we ready? Amen. Let us read. Whom have I not seen, he loved, in whom though now he is in him, yet believing, he rejoiced 
with joy, unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophet have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesies of the grace that shall come unto you, Searching what or what manner of man the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify when it testified for him the salvation of Christ and the glory that should follow. Unto whom it was revealed that not only themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, with things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the Lord of your mind, and sober and hope to the end of the grace that is to be brought unto you as that nation of Jesus Christ, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance, but as he which had called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I I'm holy. Praise the Lord that we know the blessing follows the reading of God's word. Amen. Let us say praise the Lord. Amen. And let us keep in mind the scripture admonished us to be holy as God is holy. Amen. And to make us to know that just anything is not going to be accepted. Amen. God, someplace else said, it's a prepared place for a prepared people. Amen. Those that deny ungodliness and worldly lust take up their cross daily and follow him. You come under that category of being yes. a prepared people going to a prepared place. Amen. We thank the Lord for the scriptures and reading thereof. We pray that you are able to take them in and grow thereby that they strengthen you spiritually. Amen. As you walk with the Lord. Amen. At this time we will have our congregation of him. Sense the fullness of the light shines in. Amen. Since the fullness of the light shines in. Those were dark some years filled with gloomy fears when my
Jesus. Blessed Jesus. I can always see the face of Jesus.
So we give you thanks. That's why we, that's why you are the God of our life this morning. We bless and praise you for this service so far. God, we pray for your blessing. We pray for the Holy Ghost Spirit. My God, come for us this morning. Yes. Even as never before like this. We pray you fill some moment with the Holy Ghost today. In the name of Jesus, we claim it, my God. Father God, we pray right now for a special Jesus. A special Jesus. Jesus. A special Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As precious. Hallelujah. As precious touch, God. For Sister Menzi. Your kind of city.
congregational song had a phrase in there. Yes. It kind of came home to me today. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Since the light shone in, I can always I can always see the face of Jesus.
long week. You know, sometimes the week seems as long as if it can't be done. Amen. But when I look into all of it, I said, oh my God, oh my. there is no point I can cry. If I complain, then it seems as if I'm murmuring. Amen. Hallelujah. If I talk about it, it seems as if I'm going around. But what I have to do is just rejoice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. As David looked, amen, in his life. Amen. Hallelujah. He said in life. Hallelujah. Amen. Of the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The light. Hallelujah. Of the word. Like a lamp unto my feet. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's like a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, I just go through the week and there was so much things around me. Amen. I was just here and I don't know, but my head, it was just, amen, as if there was, amen, a low. But the word of God was right there. Comforting me. Hallelujah. Saints of the living God. These are the days when the spirit of confusion, yes. hallelujah, yes, it flew me, it, it, my God Almighty, I wish I could say it as it is, hallelujah, yes. amen, I'm looking in the homes of today, amen, the kids, they cannot even do better than what they're doing because of what, the home in which they are coming out of, but Children of God, every morning that you get up, just look at the kids. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just look at the kids, maybe not yours, but just look at that one. Maybe passing your gate. And cover that one with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because it is perilous time. The scripture tells about perilous time. It's now. Amen. Hallelujah. Prepare for your journey. Hallelujah. Glory to God Almighty. Because the days are evil. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. I want to give the Lord thanks this morning for His goodness and His mercies. He has been good to me. I can't complain. What I, you know what I see? Um, the storm that come, out, come through Florida and up to North Carolina. And you know a lot of places got washed away. People died and all that. I just want to give God thanks because it could have come to Maryland too. Yes. And um, you know, uh, it, it evil us, affect evil us. But I want to give God thanks and when you look at it, there, there is even another storm out there who is, is heading for Florida right now. So, but I want to give God thanks for his goodness and his mercies towards us. I can't complain, I just want to lift for him and magnify him. will be
from work and I was, I, I was to go somewhere, take someone somewhere. And I said, let me stop and change. And then well, just as I got in the car, Casey and came home. And every time I drove off, she was there blocking me so I couldn't move. And we kept doing it for about five minutes. And you know, since eventually she went one way of the alley and I went on the main road. As I turned on the main road and I straight, you know, heading to the stoplight, this car just, she must have been going about maybe 120 miles per hour and she just went around me and says right in front of me, I saw her running in the side. It's a witness accident, but not as vivid as this one. And the only thing I could shout is Jesus, because I saw what was happening. When I looked, I saw Casey and the car that was going, you know, at the intersection, the car that got hit was going over where Elder Mendy used to live. And Casey and was right behind that gentleman. And you know, since, uh, it's just saying this to say that if she hadn't stopped and was blocking my car, she would have been the one at the front of the line. And she would have been the one that got hit. When I looked, um, the, the hair bags flow, the gentleman came out, it was him and his daughter and it was blood and I'm like mighty God and I was so frightened, I said God I cannot believe because if this, I, I got upset and I said mighty God look how this person almost killed this family and while we were there waiting on the police I saw another woman coming screaming but I thought it was her mother saying can you believe it was another car she hit down the road and was running from that accident and ran into the other car almost killed the couple and I'm just saying you know I'm giving God thanks for whatever he put in Casey to let her stop there and was blocking me because that five minutes saved her from being at the front of the line and I'm just thanking God for blood coverage, you know, since all I could do was just pray for them. When we look, it was a young lady that came out the car was doing it. A young girl. So saints, we just have to keep covering our family and asking God for protection on the road. Because there's so much crazy demons out there, mighty God. So we just have to ask him to keep covering us. So continue praying for us, mighty God, in Jesus' name. Let us praise the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Amen. It's just good to hear how God has blessed so many of us in so many ways. Amen. Things that we don't even, we may not even be thinking about that God is taking us through. And it's just good to come into the house of the Lord and give him the praise. Just going to remind you also that the theme for the month, amen, they put up the theme, the overall theme for the year, the theme for the month, guess what? We had a great introduction to it. Really, really great introduction to the theme of the month. So I say, why and when? Well, all last month, we talked about this month's theme. All through the convocation, they thought, talked about this month's theme. Gird up the loins of your mind and be ye strong. Hallelujah! Something to focus your thoughts on throughout the month of October. Gird up the loins of your mind. I say, what does that mean? Well, as you listen throughout this month, and as you reflect on last month, you reflect on the messages that was preached during convocation, yes. you'll get some understanding of what it means yes, yes. to gird up the loins of your mind. But pull it all together. Get yourself to the place where you focus and you center yourself on God and what He has in store for you. Right. Amen. 
so that nothing can separate you from his love. Just that we read this morning, Jeremiah 1, 16 through 19, and 1 Peter 1, 8 through 16. Amen. The congregational hymn, the one that we sang, fullness, since the fullness of the light shines, shone in, and if you want to practice it over the week, get your Pentecostal hymnal, turn to page 181, you can practice your song over the week. So when we come in on Sunday, and we're just singing and it's singing and it's rejoicing, the song is more real to you because you was able to practice it and meditate on it and get the full understanding of what the writer had in mind. And then see how it applies to your life today. Since the light has shown in, now I can see, I can always see the face of Jesus. Amen. I'm going to turn this part over to the deacons so that they can do the uh, envelopes, the introduction of the envelopes. And, <laughs> and we can prepare ourselves to bring our sacrifices uh, unto the Lord in Jesus' name. Sometimes, you know, they had a saying, you know, many hands can make work light. But sometimes you, you need a help that can give you instruction and strength. You might not necessarily need a physical lift, but you need something that's going to give you strength and encouragement. And we just sang this song about sometimes your burdens get heavy and sometimes your burdens a light and sometimes you might not know what to do but you need some feed something from the Lord you need a word from the Lord to carry you through 
to help you lift that heavy load, to help you carry that burden. And sometimes that lift from the Lord might come in the form of a song or a scripture. And sometimes that word can come through a spoken word that somebody spoke, whether it was a preacher or just somebody talking to you that the Lord inspired. Well, today we're going to have some strengthening and some encouraging and to help us to gird up the loins of our mind. Hallelujah! To help us to let the light shine in in the midst of all that we go through and to keep us walking upright to hear him say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And coming to, to bring those encouraging and strengthening and uplifting words to us, none other than our very own Elder Samuel Trout, in Jesus' name. Because your word is life. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. So we thank you for today. We thank you for everything that has been gone forth already. This, the uh, praise and worship. And everything, Lord Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. I want to thank the Lord. Praise God, first of all, I want to give him glory, honor, and praise because he's the head of our life. Praise God. Right. Hallelujah. I want to recognize our bishop. Yes. Praise God. And yes. Evangelist Paulette, oh, yes. our pastor. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Evangelist Medley. All the elders and the ministers. Praise God. I want you. And saints. 
Sons of God, I want to greet you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank the Lord for the music department. Yeah. Oh, yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I also want to thank God for the men, all of us who relentlessly determined to be a blessing in our anniversary yeah. convocation. Oh, yes. Oh, who yes. came out and did practice, and we did some. Several practice. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord for the men. For all the men. Praise God. So I want to thank God as the men president. You know, it's, it's, it's really a blessing. The Lord has really come through for us. And also we incorporate with the, with the combined choir. Praise God. And to God be the glory. The sister. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So, the team, Gird Up, Lions. the Lions of our mind. Yes. Praise God. Praise God. This message, this, this word is, is for the saints. Yes. Yes. It's for us. Yes. It's not for the unbelievers. Yes. Girding up the lines of our mind yes. is for those of us who are born again, yes. who are saved. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. So, we're going to look into that. Uh, a few scriptures I won't be long with you today praise God but we're going to look into that particular scripture 1 Peter chapter 1 from verse 13 to verse 50 praise the Lord Jesus wherefore gird up the lines of your mind be he sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Verse 14, as obedient children, not fashion yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. Jesus. But as he which had called you is holy, so be he holy in all manner of conversation. Yes, sir. We can look into Romans chapter 1 to tie that together. Praise God and to see what Romans chapter 1 is telling us. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus had made me free from the law of sin and death Growing up the lines of our mind yes, yes. is a reflection also of Romans chapter 8. There is therefore now no condemnation, no condemnation yes. to them which are in Christ Jesus. Who do what? Walk not, not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Yes. So when we gird our mind, right. we are walking after the spirit. Yes, yes. Amen. Not after the flesh. Yes. Praise God. Because the scripture said, For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free yeah. from the law of sin and death. Yeah. Praise God. To be carnally minded yeah. is death. Right. But to be spiritually minded life and peace. is life and peace. Jesus Praise God. So when we are spiritually minded, we are girding up the lines of our mind. Hallelujah. Spiritually minded is life and peace. Praise God. There's a few breakdown that is speaking to us at this time that we are living in. Mentally preparation. 
girding up the lines of our mind. Oh, man. We start with mental preparation. Girding the lines of our mind means being mentally ready for the tasks ahead. Just like one would prepare physically for work or battle by adjusting their clothing. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. We must adjust our mindset to be ready to follow Christ in, in this time. Yes. This might mean removing distraction, managing negative thoughts, Align our thinking right. with God. Yes. So this is a mental preparation. Girding our loins. Right. Praise God. Yes. Spiritual readiness. Praise God. And discernment. Yes. Yes. Spiritual readiness discernment. and discernment. Oh, yes. If there is not a time that we need a spirit of discernment is now. Praise God. Definitely. No. Because sometimes when I look and see, praise God, some, someone would walk come inside here and you can see that that person is of unsound mind. Yes, yes. Walk inside here and see. They should not be going out the same way they came in here. Praise God. They should not be going out the same way that they came in here. Because that's what Jesus did when he was on earth. He healed the sick and raised the dead. Cast out demons out of men and women who were bound. Praise God. So for we to reach to that level, we have to gird the lines of our mind. Being spiritually minded. Praise God. Spiritually readiness and discernment. We face many challenges, distraction and temptation. Amen? Many. Praise God. When we're going to work, Challenges and distraction. Yes. Temptation. I'm at work sometime, I would have a staff member, and believe you me, that person would, you know, just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on. <laughs> and it has been a distraction. And what I do for me to get my task done, I have to be discernment. This journey. I have to do a different strategy to avoid that. Praise God. And so, spiritual readiness and discernment yeah. and the challenges that we face, it's a, it's a wrestle to gird the lines of our mind. Yeah. It's, it's, we are to be sharpened spiritually make sure we stay focused on what matters most stay focused on what matters most which is our faith and the will of God it means staying alert intentionally and serious about our Christian walk our apostolic walk Girding up the lines of our mind is also hope and discipline. Peter encouraged the believers to have their hope fully set on the grace yes. that will be brought when Jesus revealed. All right. Praise the name of Jesus. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 13. In this time, we can apply this by living in an exceptional and hope of Christ's return. Yeah. Expectation and hope of Christ's return. Being sober-minded and self-controlled. 
and not letting the cares of the world cloud our faith. Yes. Girding up the lines of our mind is holy living, yes. holiness. Praise God in our everyday walk. Yes. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. Right. Praise God. Peter calls us to be, be he holy in all conduct, all manner of conduct. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because God is holy. Hallelujah. We are called to be different, to live in a way that reflects God's character in our words, thoughts, and deeds. We are called to be different. Yes, yes. Praise God in the way that we reflect God. In our character, in our words, thoughts, and deeds. For girding up the lines of our mind, applying it to our life this, in this time, we have to have a renewed mind. We are called to continue renewing our mind. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Resisting the world's pull and allowing God's word to shape how we think. Sometimes when we're at work, as for me when I'm at work, sometimes I have to remind myself, okay, if it's even one scripture, just try and read it and study it and see what God is saying to me or saying to the sign to the time that we're living in. And sometimes when we take up the scripture to read, if you don't mind shop a spirit of joseness. I'm not the only person, praise God. Want to take over a spirit of joseness. Or if it's not joseness, a spirit of distraction. Mighty God. But we have to determine to gird the lines of our mind. Praise God. It is said that the men of old, when they wear that girl, as the, the preacher speak, the Wednesday night, for them to either go to work or to go to battle or something, they have to lift that girl. And tight around the waist, yes. so they can't move them. It can't distract them because it is very tall. It's a rope, very tall. Yes. So they have to lift it up, put it around the waist, curl it around. Yes, praise God, so they can do battle and move it right around. Yes. Praise God. Just as some someone would gird up the lines before taking action. We are called to live with spiritual purpose intentionally, aware of the times we are living in, hope in Christ, especially in the times of uncertainty or hardship. Our hope should be anchored in the promises of Christ's return and the future grace we will receive. To gird up the lines of our mind means to be prepared spiritually, yes. mentally, right. and morally, living a life of holiness, hope, and readiness to meet Jesus. Right. Praise God. So we can continue to look at Romans chapter 8. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. I'm at verse 19, Romans 8 verse 19. For the creature was made subject to vanity, 
not willingly, but by the reason of him who was subject the same in hope. We move down to verse 22. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now. Yeah. Verse 25. But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patient wait for it. Yes. Likewise, the Spirit also help our infirmities. Oh, yes. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us yes. with groaning which cannot be uttered. That's verse 26. And so we have that great hope when the Spirit of God maketh intercession for us yes. with groaning Praise God, because sometimes when we want to pray, we also, a spirit of Josephus, want us to fall asleep. Yeah. But praise God, we have the Holy Spirit that make it, make an intercession for us yeah. with groaning yeah. that cannot be uttered. Praise the name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise God. Yes, Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Verse 27. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Right now, intercession is making for us. Amen. Right now, intercession is making for us. Right now. Verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. When we gird up the lines of our mind, these are all the benefits and the promises that we get. Amen? Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. Verse 30. Moreover, when He did predestinate whom he did predestinate, them he also called. Yes, and whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Yes. Just a reminder, we who are saved and is born again as the first fruit, did you know we were in Jesus Christ before the foundation of the world? Amen? We were in Him before the foundation of the world. Before this world were formed. Praise God. And that's a, not a powerful heritage to remind us. Praise God. Verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us. Who? 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 Who can be against us? Yes. Let me say it again. What shall we say then to these things? Yes. If God be for us, who? The question is, who can be against us? Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. We are more than conquerors. Through him. him. Praise God. He that spirit not his son, but deliver him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Some things. Some things. All things. Praise God. All things. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that, in, that is risen again. Who is he even at the right hand of God who also maketh intercession for us? Verse 35. 
Who shall separate us from the love of God? From the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Let's pause there a little bit. Who? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, when we look at tribulation, tribulation is an interpretation of testing of our faith. Tribulation, a testing of our faith. Personal trials, that's a part of tribulation. Personal trials, a testing of our faith. Praise God. Distress. Distress. Distress is also, can be physical and or emotional. Emotional hardship. So distress, praise God, can be physical or emotional hardship. When my sister, one of my sister died almost two years ago, it was a shock to the family. It was like distress. Yes. Praise God. We didn't expect for she, you know, as they say, gone too soon. But I remember I prayed for her. We had a business meeting here one night, I believe, and we were talking about different things. Yeah. And I did say that if I were near her, if I were near her, she was in Jamaica and I'm here. And with the confidence and the faith that I had, Bishop, I am saying if I were near her, by the will of God, I believe I would pray the prayer of faith and she would restore from that, from that, from that time of death. I remember I mentioned it right here. Praise God. But all things work together for good. Because she was saved, baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. So who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, we talk about Tribulation is a part of testing our faith, our personal trials. We're not talking about the great tribulation. The great tribulation is coming. It cannot be altered. It's coming. Praise God. Our distress. Just speak about distress when I lost one of my sister. Distress can be physical, emotional hardship, or difficulty. Difficult circumstances. Praise God. Distress or, or persecution. Persecution. Yes. Praise God. When men would say all manner of evil against you. Falsely. That can be a part of persecution. False accusation hate you and resent you and yes. praise God Please. manipulate you Please. that can be a part of yes. praise God oh, yeah. persecution famine yes. famine none of these things can separate us from the love of Christ famine thank God for good thank God for the pantries yes. praise the name of Jesus Yes, thank God for the pantries every now and again. Praise God. Glory to God. So we're not going to face famine as long as we are faithful and stay with Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. The pantry is a backup. Praise God. When things run low, God bless the pantry and those who operate the pantries. Praise the name of Jesus. Then we go further to say, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress, persecution or, or famine, or nakedness? Thank God for goodwill. 
Praise the name of Jesus. Goodwill. Amen. Thank God for goodwill. Sometimes goodwill really release some things to, 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 to us. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So God bless goodwill. God bless the pantries and all of those things. But we don't rely on those things because we have a job. But God bless them. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Famine or nakedness or peril or sword. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day. All day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor heights, nor depths, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Praise God. I remember when I was out in the world before I got saved, they used to sing a lot of love songs. The love I lost, it was sweeter. The love I lost, it was sweeter. The love I lost. wasn't love. That wasn't love. The love of Jesus Christ is the best love. Praise the name of Jesus. I've been there. Praise God. Yes, I've been there to the parties and all of those things. Been there and done that. But they sing about love and those love was just temporary. Those love was not pointing to the agape love. The agape love. Praise God. So the Apostle Paul was speaking about the Apostle Paul being true all of these things. That is the reason why he was able to write Hallelujah, being inspired by these scriptures. The Apostle Paul being, being true imprisonment. Imprisonment. Praise God. Multiple times the Apostle Paul been imprisonment for preaching the word of God yes. and you can find it in Acts chapter 16 verse 23 to 24 he has been in prison multiple times but that didn't stop him from the love of Christ that did not stop him he was beaten and stoned with rods stone and whips you find it in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24 to 25. Praise God. And also Acts chapter 14, verse 19. He went into shipwreck. That's the reason why he could be able to write this scripture. Praise God to the churches. Praise God. Shipwreck. Paul suffered through shipwreck and was constantly in danger from robbers, yes. his own people, and the Gentiles. Yes. Praise God. 2 Corinthians 11, 25 to 26. Persecution. He faced persecution from Jewish leaders and Roman authorities for spreading the gospel. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Weaknesses and distress. He spoke, he spoke of personal weakness and distress, including thorns in the flesh, which he prayed about. Yes. And you find that in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, from verse 7 to 9. Weakness and distress. Praise God. Rejection. He speak about rejection and opposition. He was often rejected by his own people 
and face constant opposition from false teachers and enemies of the gospel. You find that in Acts chapter 12, Acts chapter 13, from verse 45, Acts chapter 13 and 45 verse. Also, 2 Timothy chapter 4, from verse 14 to 16. Praise God. But in despite, despite all these things, all these tribulations, Paul remains steadfast and his mission encouraging believers to persevere through their own trials. Praise God. And so, if Paul can go through all of this, imprisonment, beating and stone, shipwreck and danger, persecution, weakness and distresses, rejection and opposition, in this time, once we gird the lines of our mind, we can resist many of those things. They will come. Praise God. But we will overcome. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. And so, we want to thank the Lord today. Praise God for helping us through his word. Praise the name of Jesus. And reminding us to gird up the lines of our mind. Because the Apostle Paul reminds us that once we gird the lines of our mind, all of these things will not separate us from the love of Christ. Yes. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Praise God. No tribulation. No distress. No persecution. No famine. No nakedness. Praise God. No pearl. That's right. Sword. That's right. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day. Yes. All the day long we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. But he says, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors to him that love us. Praise God. And for us to gird the lines of our mind, beloved, it takes sacrifice. Yes, it does. You don't just gird the lines of your mind or listen to a sermon and, okay, it takes sacrifice. Yes. Praise the name of Jesus. It takes prayer and fasting. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Reading the word. Yes. And so, when we do that, yes. praise God, then we will see the blessing and we will also overcome. That's right. You know, when I look and see what is happening on the, the, um, the network, where the young men and the young girls, especially the young men, oh, it's, it's, it, you know, our heart really should be aching. They're doing all, all sorts of atrocities. Yes. Car stealing, shooting. Why? Because. Why, why is it? Because there is no proper parenting. There is no proper parents. Some of the fathers are in incarceration. Some of the mothers are in incarceration. And so it, it, it pains us to see those young men, young men, and most of them is our complexion. Praise the name of Jesus because of lack of proper parenting. And so our duty, if we're not able to go and speak to them personally, let us make a commitment today to pray for the parents and also pray for those young men and young women. Oh, yes. Let us make a commitment to pray for them. Because the enemy wants to destroy families. Jesus. He does not want to see families thrive. 
and once he can get into the family then everything go to pieces mighty God of Daniel praise God so let us remember the, the parents let us remember those who are not yet saved Don't, let us remember those who have once knew this way and have turned away the Bible says it is impossible yes. to restore them if we, if we have taste of the heavenly heavenly calling and the world to come praise God and to turn away it is impossible so we want to remember those who are weak praise God those who are hallelujah halting between two opinions we just want to remember them and once we gird the lines of our mind God is able to to help us to praise God win one soul because he's able to do exceeding yes. abundant yes. above all that we ask or think God bless you in Jesus name Praise God. Bless 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 God. Amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together again and give the Lord praise. Put our hands together again. Amen. 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 Thank you, Elder Child. We want to thank Elder Child. Amen. Bless God for uh, the word that he spoke today. And um, to burn up the lines of our mind. Amen. But here it is. Here, here is the thing. Um, David said, I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. And my help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Amen. And so, here is the songwriter that he penned, the, the songwriter penned this song. Amen. It says, Your grace and mercy See, brought me through. Yes, Lord. I'm living this moment because of you. Oh, Lord, I want to thank you and praise you too. We 
want to thank Bishop Allen for his inspiration. We want to thank Bishop Allen for his dedication. And help so wonderfully. Amen. To help to stimulate and to bless the wonderful service. Put your hands together again. We want to thank the Lord for his wife, Evangelist Paul and Allen. We want to thank the Lord again for Evangelist Paul and Allen. She's an encourager. She worked tirelessly to help to make the meeting to be a success. We want to thank you, Evangelist Paul and Ali. And may the Lord add more strength, more grace, more health, more spirituality, more physical strength, emotional strength, and financial strength. God is good. Yes. We want to thank the Lord for each auxiliary leader. Yes. Put your hands together for the auxiliary leader. Each auxiliary leader, we want to thank the Lord for you. Those that brought those wonderful, delicious, tasty food. Put your hands together again for them. Put your hands together for them. We really thank the Lord for you. Specifically also, we want to thank the Lord for the drivers. Yes. Minister Dante. Yes. Amen. Minister Dante. Amen. Where's Minister Dante? Amen. Brother Morris. Brother Morris. Yes, he made several trips back and forth. We want to thank the Lord for him. We want to thank the Lord for our Sister Sakaya. Sister Sakaya too. Sister Sakaya. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I want to thank the Lord for Sister Sakaya made chips. Ella Chow. Ella Chow. Sister Lisa. Amen. Sister Gaita. Thanks, Sister Gaita. Wonderful. And all the drivers. Because we have Ella Shaw was on the list as a driver. Deacon Vandel was also on the list as a driver. I want to thank Sister Abigail for her to coordinate to get all the, the drivers, amen, together to get the folks. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Give the Lord a praise. Certainly, and I say these names because uh, in some key areas that they function. However, everybody function in key, in key areas. Give the Lord a praise for everyone. And the Saturday morning praise team. Wonderful. All the praise team. Put your hands together for the praise team. Amen. Bless God. Sister Antoinette, Sister Tracy, Kayan. Amen. Bless God. Sister Kay. Amen. Sister Casey. And Sister Joanna. Wonderful. And they were here every night. Amen. To lead out the meeting. They were here every night. So there is the chance. All right, all right. And all these wonderful saints that were here every night to, amen, to take off the service to a high level. Put your hands together for everyone. Yes, the men too. The men did a great job in combination. I want to thank the Lord for you all. We also, we also want to thank you for your special contribution. Oh, you, didn't, you didn't thank the Lord, you didn't clap. I said, so we also want to thank you for your special contribution. Because you came up and you, you did what you were asked to do. Give the Lord another big hand. Give the Lord another big hand. Okay, so. <laughs> that Sunday, it was a 
was presenting their awards. We know Sister Jada K. It's in um, Japan right now. So, but we still want her to get our awards so we can present to her mom. It says, Historic Rehoboth Church Youth Department honors Jada K. Thomason for graduating from the Navy as an E3 hospital man. Praise the Lord, so we want to present to her mom to make sure that, you know, he gets it in Jesus' name.